Well, hello, 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 everyone. So, after uh, not being able to do some uh, more Paper Mario the Final Zero last week, we are back again, so... Oh, hey! Also, I uh, realized that last time I had some settings set incorrectly in OBS, so the soundboard wasn't working, so that was awkward. Yeah. Um. so, um, yeah. Um, there was a joke I was going to put here, but I kind of forgot about it. Uh, whatever. Let's just um, let's just get started. Oh, and I'm back at the title screen again because the title screen has changed again. Now Peter Bowser and Cammy Cooper have appeared on the left side of the screen, so that's fun. Okay, so last time we finished, we finally finished chapter one, and we uh, end up in Bogley Woods. Uh, Bogley Woods. I'm sorry. Those into are hysterical. Oh yeah. Yeah, with Bowser and Cammy Longhead Hoover. 
We do, do get to just do priceless. Nice. Oh, right. Before I forget, um, we have the meta of JK Rowling over here. There. I forgot to... Actually, I feel like I should hit her, like, ten more times. Yeah. Now, what about in trees, eh? Yeah, she sucks. Indeed she does. Oh, this area just has different music. Nifty. I like it. Okay, could you title for me, please? What's the cleft? A rock hard jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker. Ah oh, ha ha, I get it. Because it kind of looks like he has a mohawk. Hard head is a major pain. Also because it's uh, covered in spikes. So, uh, why it doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are, very, are pretty effective, usually. But if it needs to work out, you can also just run. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I have a feeling that we don't really have anything that will help. I mean, we have a lot of mushroom fry, but you know. Well, aside from maybe power smash, but do I want to waste power smash on these guys? Also, let me guess, the battle music doesn't actually change per area in the original. I mean, I would hope so, but... With super guard there, attacks for damage, and this. Oh, it does! Okay, I thought it was also new to the remake. Oh, they didn't change it the original, okay. Nice. Alright, let's try and uh, see if we can super guard. And it turns out we can. Excellent. Well, smashy, smashy. Wait, hang on, did we also get the new ability for, um, you know, Mario? The star power abilities? Oh, hello, that's a plant. Oh, come on, I totally hit that. Yep, I missed that. And why is Luigi sitting in the crowd? Yeah, Earth Tremor. You know, something with the name Earth Tremor sounds like it's something that'll work in, uh, against those. That's a pale piranha. You know about these guys, the famous piranha plants? I do, but I've never seen them with a color like this. This color subspecies is adapted to boggly woods. Ah, the wonders of nature. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally jump on you. Yeah, and I think that'll totally suck, so... On that note, Goombella, I'm going to switch you out for now. <laughs> Which is a possible audience member, and he throws the best items to you, guaranteed. I see, although I haven't exactly seen him throw an item yet, but I guess he'll do that eventually. He throws them. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, he might not, you know. Also, I'll say it, I'm not exactly a fan of how strict the super guard timing tends to be. But oh well. I let it go by accident, oh well. Alright, next. It's supposed to be strict. Yeah. And apparently it was even more strict than the original, which... Wow, okay. Oh look, some honey syrup. 
And some more money here. I almost missed it because it was inside of the flowers. Okay, let's... Let's use one of these. Wait, could I? <laughs> Excellent. I figured there was a thing I could do. Okay, okay. Let's... Let's try to be funny. Why not? Okay, first... Fire flower. And that will have cubes finish the mods. Okay, now I know when uh, when to use the when to do the stylish move with cubes at the end of that. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was being clever there, using cubes to um, do a hit the piranha pl a plant from a distance. Well, pale piranha, but you know. Potato, potato. Oh, what's this? Yeah, can you see it? The big tree. Is that the wise Westerwood from the first game? That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's our that's our home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and pirates too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Ah, it's a pipe. I kind of figured. Hang on. Oh, it's you again. So, what do you have to sell this time around? Mini Mr. Mini. That, that, that's a funny name, but I, I, I'm running low on coins and kind of want to save up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be fine. Uh, anyway, I completely forgot about Goombala because, you know, as you do. See the big tree over there? It's really big. It's kind of overworldly, actually. Wild. Yeah, this area is so pretty, by the way. It has to be said. The original GCM version went up 60 FPS and gave you 3 frames for a super guard, so 3 out of 60. Switch version was 30 FPS and gives you 2 frames at 3, 30 FPS, so... Okay, so you literally just get one extra frame. Well, that's not, mu not much help. One frame barely makes any difference. <laughs> anyway, let's enter the tree. Oh. Kind of, anyway. And for some reason this tree is a mechanical door. Okay, this actually kind of reminds me of that big tree from uh, on Lava Lava Island where Raphael the Raven lives. Base of the great tree, it's sure is big up close. I mean, wowzer, seriously. You must have watched over the Bollywood for over 1000 years, that's unbelievable. And you couldn't really do it a frame, uh, do it a frame and a half. Yeah, no, that's... That sounds about as ridiculous as half an ape crash. Okay, anything here then? Oh, there's a big root over there. There might be something hidden behind it. Or, you know, up here. Why do the, f the leaves make ringing noises? That's weird. Hmm... Doesn't seem to be anything here. There's something in this room. You call this a room for outside? <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to uh, search every single corner again. You know, as you do. Ah, there we go, it's an FP plot badge. Nice. But the problem is I kind of have a lot of badges in use already and I don't really have anything I want to get rid of. Oh well. I guess we're close to leveling up and then we'll be able to get more BP and then I'll equip it, if I remember to. Okay, let's continue. I don't think there's anything else here. Open, please. 
Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. Yeah, I kind of figured it was out of place, yes. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. No, quit being melodramatic. Although, it does look thick. <laughs> okay, Goombella. What are we going to do now? Well, um... Moving swiftly on... Uh... Yeah, it should... Look, Goombella, now you've got him questioning as well. <laughs> yeah, thick. Except it leads like 20 Cs or so. Uh, hmm. Um, hmm. 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 Got it. Mario, over here. Huh? I was just there, my guy. What's up here? Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not, no. How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Oh, thingies! I like thingies. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Where is a refined and dignified lady who lives in this woods? Oh, you mean the big round boob lady? The, the one of the partners? Okay. Yeah, I remember seeing that one on the catch card in Super Paper Mario. The other says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. Boop lady. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't resist. See where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thing your way. Okay, it, it's starting to get a little bit weird so, uh, if you're constantly going to refer to it as a thingy, you know. Well, it won't hurt to try. We live in the deepest corner of the woods, so... Let's head back in the direction we came from. Uh, but I kind of don't want to because now we're running to JK Rowling again. Oh, although this looks different. Ah, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. Oh, the mist must be her, I guess. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world saves my body and soul. And what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, go ever more lovely here. But those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. I already I feel the need for drama. That moment of acceleration when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Oh, she sounds absolutely lovely. I like her already. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put up some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. Oh, there goes the music. No! It's gone. Gone, I tell you. My... My... Oh, the uh, what? I guess we will never find out. Oh well. Back we go. So we always had something of a refined snuff and bell voice in my head. Yeah, but I can't exactly pull that off, so... Um, I'm not good with voices. <laughs> if it is from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Okay. Let's keep going then. 
Boggly Wood is a great name for this place. The trees, the flowers, even the ground boggles the mines. Oh, you're so funny. It's a pretty kind of boggling though. And from a high up spot? Oh, baby! I'm talking peak presentness. Yeah, we got your high up, so you gotta chill on the peak. We get it. We get it, the Goombella. Oh, that's another stupid left. I might want to switch to... Wait, no, that's going to be pointless if he just, just does two damage anyway. Oh, would you look at that? We can fly. Yep. Anyway, I failed to see what the point of that was. These seem to be rough puffs, but they are white. Well, new enemy, so Goombella, you're back out again. And I don't think Goops would have been able to do anything against those anyway. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny, mean thunderhead. It doesn't look that dark, it looks quite bright actually. But you know nothing about Albartus' characterization? No. Its HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Shocking. When it charges itself, it totally zaps you with lightning. Be it as fast as you can. Yeah, rumor has it, um... Turbulence is also weak to electricity. Oh, do I have bad news for you. You may be charged with electricity, but I have a wooden hammer, and wood does not conduct electricity. Okay, if I can hit it with a hammer, I think Koops is going to be fine, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Right, I guess we'll be switching back to Goombella. Alright, finish it off. There we go. Basically the rough was from Big Mode 64 chapter 6, but the weaker obviously. I see. Also, it looks like Merly came through finally. Double star points. And this early on in the game where you don't get that many star points to begin with, that's not even that bad. Now if it triggers on the boss fight on the other hand. Ooh, baby. Now all I'm seeing here is a lot of trees and this thing. Oh, I can walk through it. Oh, this is interesting. And we won't even have to deal with the crabs. Thank fuck for that. Oh, it uh, just increases in height. Well, that's interesting. And it seems like Koops is finally getting some use. Whoa, hey! Yeah, I saw you. You can't hide from me, Mr. Starpiece. The jump around this Okay, now I'm curious. What's this about? Do we find an invisible thingy, maybe? Oh, hello. What's this? A tow down defense, a defense up partner badge, I see. Let's try each stump one by one. Okay, I thought I was also, I also had to jump in between stumps. That would have been awkward anyway. But just in case I missed something. Wow. 
I guess no more it. It's all it. I know the game by the, by, like the back of my hand. Uh, okay, so I assume that means you know it very well. I mean, of course it does. I uh, I know what that means. Give me that, please. Thank you. There we go. I mean, the solution to this puzzle wasn't exactly hidden in plain sight, but you know. Damage all enemies on the ground is healing. Ah, yes, the Quake Hammer. That's, that's a good one. But again, slight problem. I do not exactly have the BP for it. And I'm, I already said I was going to equip the FP plus when the time came, so. And right now, the uh, Power Smash badge is a bit more useful, in my opinion. Wait, how many Shine Sprites do you have? Just one. I kind of spent them all on Goom Battle last time. Alright. Goops has, has been damaged. I kind of forgot about that. Um, okay, Goops, let me heal you real quick. Oh. And that also replenishes my FE. Well, that's nice. Your HQ can be damn good for those clefts. Uh, I see. Although, what if I'm not dealing with Cleft at the moment? That's... yeah. I hate absolutely everything right now. Okay, let's... Uh... Wait, hang on. There's literally a run button. Also, I like how it just says nope when you're in the... Try to warn you. Look, I didn't think I was going to have to deal with Clefts right that instant. It didn't look like... It looks like a dark puff, not a... Oh, what the hell. Okay, I'm going to take this one off and... This one. There. Happy now? Yes. <laughs> okay, you know what, Gubella, I kind of want to... Uh, I want you to um, take first and take care of um, Dark Puff. Thank you. Hey, quick hammer time. Okay, so that's why the timing is for that. Okay. Just leveling up now. And there's another star piece. Nice. Okay, there's the gap through to which we'll enter and... Suspiciously, it gives me a block to recover everything with. Oh, right, that one. This is the outer part of the boggly wood. The flowers are almost like a carpet. Hey, isn't it totally rare to find a white leaf tree? What kind of tree is that? They all have white leaves here, Rumbella. And there's a vault mushroom. Anything here? No, but there is a pipe, so we'll take a pipe. This quick hammer holds up in the late game in some places. I, I see quick hammer scales up with your hammer upgrades. I see. I think the original game had like different quick hammer badges. One each more powerful than the last. Okay, let's enter this house. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. I mean, maybe we should have a look around, right? What well, totally nice house. Super, super coordinations between the red walls and furniture. I'm so jealous, it's not even funny. I have, like, no sense of interior decoration. I totally think, uh, think Goombella speaks like a valley girl. 
Don't need a lot of power slash mega quake, but I, I think it scales with upgrades. That's compensation. Okay, that's good at least. Oh, flower pot. Maybe there's something inside if we hit it. No. Okay, that save block has me suspicious though. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. I just know it. Madame Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. Maybe she's inside of here. Maybe she became that globe. Boss fight with blue blade. Oh, oh dear. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Okay, screw it. We're going back. We can do it. No, I'm kidding. We'll need to progress anyway. So, wait. Check behind the stairs. No, nothing here. That was a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I am. I was kind of. Yeah, to be fair, I was kind of expecting someone else. Eek. No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madame Fleury, are you there? Is it you? What are you doing? No, oh, wait a moment. There's darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Wow, she even knows exactly how Punio sounds out of all the punies. That's kind of creepy. Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is that something you need? Uh, well, the thing is... You have a problem? Then Great Space Entry Hall is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? I mean, yeah, you are probably the only one of us here who knows, so... I don't want to puny you. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a fight myself. I just cannot come out. Have you tried opening the door? Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. Oh, hang on. We know who has that thing. It's JK fucking Rowling. Right, I guess I'll have to beat it out of her. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. Who still uses the word constitutional? I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. So I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Hey, wait a sec, you lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu, big time. I swear, someone just said they found the necklace. Yeah, deja vu, I've just been in this place before. I'll let do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you, do you have some clue as to where my necklace, as to my necklace was whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear, find it and bring it back to me. Okay. Of that, I will most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend Punio. Yeah, no problem. I'll gladly do that. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is? He's super. Yeah, in fact, they would even go as far as to call him Super Mario sometimes. You can do it, right, Mario? Yeah, sure. Great, it's desired then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you, Sue. Do you have anything else to say? Please, you must find my package necklace. I'm counting on you. Also, I saw that nah option, but to be honest, sometimes when you refuse something in the Paper Mario game, you just get the game over, so... Yeah. Well, then I told you, you, bl you blamed me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Silence, you twits. Now is not the time to get hung up on stupid details. You must study this sketch. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. Oh my gosh. You, you are... You have the nerve to act, uh, talk like that to your sister and then absolutely gush over Mario. You don't deserve to gush over Mario. You know something that my love is? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah, he's Mr. Mustache. Go, go. 
Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault. Uh, bitch, I talk to you! I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. Oh, that. Let's not use the word punishment, that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, weird. Especially in front of your sister. What? That's not fair, you're the one who had the... Fine as you scroll brain, don't you cop that insolent attitude with me? Uh, this is not fair. And about the necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Oh. And, since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Can we punch her like... Can we like hammer her like 20 more times before we fight him? Please. Let you everyone in the game sim over Mario. Oh yeah, that's true. Matt Rowling wouldn't if he was actually a woman at the original least. <laughs> there, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> Look, every opportunity I get to make to make fun of uh, of that bitch, I'll take it. Quick question: Do we have to do we have to battle her now? Because I'm asking for um, well reasons. So much for my uh, simping to go. Oh boy. Okay, I think it was the screen after this, but I don't recall. Would you kind folks please hang on for a second? I won't be too long. So, what's this I'm hearing? Is, do I hear the sound of a transphobe that needs to be punched like 50 times by my fists? Well, um... Well, I'm here. I'm gonna do this. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Okay, maybe after we get past these plants. Um... In fact, let me switch partners. Okay, I think it, it, yeah, I think that's this is how you switch partners. Yeah. Okay, I quick break hammer should take care of this. Nice. Right there is where did Brad go? Uh, I don't know where he went to be honest. But you know what? Considering I, I think I'll level up in the moment I defeat those, uh, those, uh, those remaining enemies here. So, okay, you take care of this one real quick. Wait, that you did no damage, and you just made an audience member run away. Okay, just goes to show you can't count on coops for anything. Okay, I did actually been pretty useful. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> anyway, look at that. We've leveled up. Okay, so Bradford told me to um, to increase my BP and equip the FP plus badge, so... Yeah, let's actually do that. And that restored everything, so... Excellent. What was this? An earthquake. Hmm, that's hilarious. I like that name. Anyway, before I forget, let's equip that badge. 
Switch to Goombella. And save the game. You can also upgrade the HP slash FP to not have to equip the badges and save 3 FP. True, I kinda didn't think of that. Whoops. <laughs> right, and I also just realized... Well, Bradford told me I'm going to have to... to ...pass off all three of these bitches. Uh, well, two bitches and, uh, and the QT. Next upgrade, yeah. Well, even this Mario. Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Uh, why is that? I mean, you say I'm not, I'm not too bright, but you are the shady ones. You are literally the free shadows. <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you. So, okay, so how does it make sense? You were literally waiting here for me, but... Uh, I, I give up. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had... Wait a minute. What? You'll be waiting for Mario? What is that supposed to mean, you weirdo? Yeah, weirdo is right. <laughs> so prefer to share the silence as a group name, like a loss. <laughs> uh, I suppose. I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. Why not? And so I'll be taking a little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The free... She can talk! Oh my goodness! She can talk! <laughs> Shadow Sisters! You know, Shadow Sisters is still an, uh, is still a, is an alliteration, so that kind of works. The three Shadow Sisters? Also, uh, I... No, no, I mean, the Shadow Sisters, do we? I mean, I don't mind Shadow Sisters because that just reaffirms the fact that the Vivian is a woman and likes she wants to be. Vivian, you nincapoop? What are you babbling about? It's just Shadows, the three Shadows. Oh, I'm so going to punch you. Sisters makes us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? Actually, there are a lot of legends that talk about sisters where the word sisters is included and it makes them sound even more mysterious. So, um, shut up. All right, sis, I'm sorry. It just, it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so. How insufferably sappy. Oh, you got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, I think she's going to get more than just a belt. Oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. <laughs> don't actually lie down like that. Shadow Sisters is good too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's play though, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lo lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. You will hate Belvin, yeah. <laughs> I already do. Might of the three shadows relation with health <laughs> will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me crack my knuckles real quick. It's most unlucky that those sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Grr. Yes, sis. Okay, I'm just going to take a guess. I have a feeling Vivian is going to be holding back. But that's just a guess. No, it actually gets worse, if you can believe that, but no spoilers. Okay, well, let's... let's settle her first. Okay, tell me every weakness she has, including her social security number. That's Jackie Rowling. She's the oldest sister, the leader of the Free Shadows. Also known as Beldum, I guess. Max HP is 9, attack is 1, and defense is 0, but the blizzard attack has an attack of 2. She can make opponents big and make us tiny, and attacks with weird magic. The worst thing about it is that, uh, is that sinister snicker. She sounds so totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid like the plague, you know. Oh yeah, no kidding. I guess who's going to be attacked first? Yeah, she only does one damage, I kind of figured. Oh, 
Alright. Let's battle the rest of them. Vivian, you're next. That's Vivian. She's the youngest of the three shadows. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she's kind of cute, I guess. Um, bow chicka bow bow? Are you, is there something you're not telling us, Goombella? She might even be cuter than I was. Oh, she totally has the hots for Vivian. <laughs> also, happy Pride Month. <laughs> I guess. Wow, I think I might be jealous. You're in love. Just a minute, you're in love. Okay, Goombella x Vivian, I ship it. Alright, back to attacking you. Oh, you just increase your power. That's not good. Uh, and that's even worse. Okay. Let's tattle mail in. More Mario. Yeah. That's Marilyn. She's one of the three shadows. Beldum's youngest sister. Max HP is 12, attack is 2, and defense is 0. She charges up her attacks occasionally. Says here she's the toughest of the sisters, so my best to defeat her first, huh? Other than that, she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics. At least she just literally charged her. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Guess who's going to get knocked out first? <laughs> nice. Ah! Oh, it's out to you. Oh ho ho ho! Would you look at that? Let's actually get that multi bunk going. Or not, because I got a bit of misstep thanks for the stylish move thing. Oh well. Okay, let's do some serious damage then with, with a swire flower. Small Mario, yeah, indeed. Yeah, my plan was to, uh, to multi bunk, uh, you know. Marilyn over there, but yeah. Right, let's finish this because I have a Sorry, Sears. Because I have a feeling rolling over there is going to get back up if we don't finish it quickly. And that's how it's done. Grrr. 30 star points. Excellent. Oh, maybe we're just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lump would have won if you two pulled your weight. Okay, okay, Marilyn isn't immune to uh, to her antics either. Okay, that's slightly reassuring, but not that much better. It just makes us look like an even bigger bitch. Both of you prepare for a world-class punishment session where we can... Don't call it a punishment session, please. What? <laughs> The necklace. Leave it. Look, it'll be in better hands, Vivian. Don't worry. It's Flurry's favorite necklace. That's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Well, justice has been served. So, um, yeah, that I guess that's it for my appearance on this on this stream. So, yeah, I guess I go back to. Uh, a superhero duty. So remember, folks, I'm kind of running out of clever superhero quips to make. Turbulence out.
Well, with that taken care of, time for me to uh, continue playing now. But yeah, there was something that had to be done. So yeah, of course Beldon was going to be the first to go, because, you know... Fuck her, TBH. Okay, could you? Oh, for the love of Poseidon, come here. There. Oh, well, does, does this, doesn't this look lovely? Okay, Coops, finish him off. Ah, missed the timing. Oops. Okay, I'm not actually sure if I saved, but I'm going to save again just to be, you know, safe. Well, I hope Vivian is going to be alright though. Anyway, we got the necklace back. Let's take it back to its rightful owner. <laughs> okay. How did we do this again? Uh, right. I shouldn't be asking how to do this if the instructions for it are in plain sight. <laughs> Wait a moment, let's recover everything first. Because... Uh, wrong button. Yeah, I'm kinda running low on PP. And when I don't have, well, then I don't have PP, wait, not PP, FP, sorry. Anyway, blurry, right. And yeah, that was probably the best thing out of, that came out of that, small Mario. Alright, good weather. Come out, you're on, you are on Tettle Flurry's bedroom duty. Oi, Flurry. Oh, poor, poor me. When, uh, when will I see my precious necklace again? Yeah, about that. Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave my necklace by the door and wait a moment. Uh, okay. It just slid in the, through the door. Oh, splendid, splendid! I oh, so ravishing. <laughs> okay, don't call it ravishing. <laughs> oh my! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm a wash of joy. Huh? What? Oh my god, why do we get the shot of the boobs? Uh, oh dear, this is something. Oh, oh, my word. Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Everything about her is suggestive, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Well, my, my, my. Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's a good thing I wasn't drinking any water because I would have choked. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Mm, perhaps if I grabs you and gave you a little show. Okay, personal space, lady. Personal space. Nuh-uh. Here come, handsome. 
time to give you a proper thank you. Fuck her up! Oh my goodness. Oh my, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Nah. -uh. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? <laughs> yeah. The very same crystal star spoken of by all the low lives and rogue board. Hmm. A danger filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. You just want to be close to me. Hang on, are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Everyone, everyone what? What? Are you seeing this? Are her boobs slightly jiggling? I'm not the only one who's seeing this, right? They're slightly, very slightly swaying up and down. It's very slight, but I'm just able to notice. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's, <laughs> let me guess. It, it's also going to get worse. So, I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Well, not really, but if we, if it's needed to progress. Flurry joins your party. Okay, then. Okay, so what are the flurries ability then? While pressing X, Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. Mm hmm. Hold on, X to blow the paper away. Okay, let's blow. The paper. Oh, look, it's Goomba. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Okay. Whoosh. Not quite a bit Do you feel like you've mastered Flurry's abilities? Yeah, it was literally just holding down a button. Even simpler than Coop. She can also squash enemies in battle with a body slam and blow them all away with gale force. Okay. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. Ah, oh, the music is gone. Okay, let's settle her room first. I hope she doesn't mind us entering her room. Oh, and, oh, and the canopy bed! I'm so jealous! Ah, I die to have one? Not a furniture is so stylish. It's like, it's like tearing me apart. Interior decoration is all about balance, and this place has got it! It's called Feng Shui, my dear Gimbella. A super appeal pea badge. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, we can't bounce on the bed. Basically, it's the best tank in the game. She's got her going for it. Yeah, I, I can tell. She kind of looks like uh, looks like it. Okay, anything else to find here? Hmm. I guess not. Okay, let's take Flurry out for a ride. There is, okay. Also, that came out of wrong. Bottom row. Right panel in the room. Oh, this thing again. Oh, is this what we use Flurry for? No. I guess we can't do anything yet until we get this spin jump or tornado jump or whatever. 
Yeah, I think it's, that makes more sense actually. Okay, let's save because that was quite the conversation. Well, back to the tree we go. Well, you know, we could uh, run into more dark buffs. Oh, we're supposed to rotate the stick? Okay. Would have been nice if the game told me that beforehand, but you know, what can you do? Yeah. If, if we said that through, you can crush enemies with our stage presence. Lol. Oh my goodness. Oh, keep the cursor inside of the circle. Okay, so that's. I slightly nudged it too, too far. Well, I guess that just goes to here. You can't count on Madame Fleury for anything. Or something. I don't know. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Well, we gave for seriously good against aerial enemies. I see, but it doesn't actually damage anyone. I mean, it doesn't sound like it would. I'm not sure if she's immune to spikes either, so... Oh, hello. Well, for today, bring you all the up to the moment news as it happens. If details of yet another incident at the Parley West Roadport are raised by the high Prianta prices, Goomfrey is suspected of violently shaking the Prianta cha changer. Mm -hmm. Prianta changer, okay. Because the Beyond the Changes allowed the sound that the, the Beyond the Changes ceasing to function for a brief period. The parlor was forced to close down temporarily. The victim was going to say, I'm a machine. No matter how hard I am shook, I feel no pain. End interview. Uh, okay. Shop report to go. We get all the hottest shopping news about all the hottest shopping spots in the world. At Pendleburg's destination, you can't miss the shop that's been the talk of the town for the last 20 years. Nifty shop. I mean, it's funny because the original Thousand Year released like 20 years ago, <laughs> so... Yeah. Friendly owner has long been thought to be the most eligible bachelor in... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too personal. Now with the now, uh, good as you. Damage was a very high chance to blow enemies away, and unlike the Mercy 64, you do receive star points. Oh, that's nice. Friend... Yeah, okay, yeah. A word is he secretly in love with the girl at the inn. The wise are witty shopkeeper this to say. You only live once, so enjoy it while you can. Shop now at good old Nifty shop. <laughs> We're just plugging a shop. Oh, why don't you? Cooking for rookies. Interested in cooking but don't know what to cook? Try our chef's delicious suggestions. Suggestions. Today's yummy recipe, mushroom fry. Just season your mushrooms, saute them up, and they're ready for the dinner table. That sounds kind of gross because mushrooms are gross, so... No, thank you. And as note, we hope you enjoyed the audience premiere issue. We can look forward to future editions coming your way soon. Published by Roadport Justification Committee. Okay, that was fun. Okay. Hey, Flurry, can you blow the petals around? No, that didn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Good afternoon, Barefoot House, the average civilian dolphin. I'm good. Thank you, you. Also, welcome, Leroy. It's been a while. But yeah, I'm doing great. Okay, let's look for the um, thingy, I think we called it. Okay, if I was a thingy, where would I be? I mean, Punio was walking up here, so I'd assume we're around here somewhere.
<laughs> it is actually labeled secret entrance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The secret entrance you can finally get inside. Here I go. It's incredibly tiny, though. Uh, could you open it from within? Aunt Puny's just the most precious little things. I feel must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? No, I don't. I literally just met you. I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But. The filthy air outside the spotlight repels me, so I came to the woods. Mm -hmm. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminds me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Oh, do you get the door? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Check it out, I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Yeah, bad news for you, Madame Fleury. Um, good well on battle duty. Okay, let's go inside. It's like enough world inside this tree, huh? I tell you, these statues, they must have been left by the ancestors of the punies. I wonder how many years the, the punies have lived in this place anyway. These are the kinds of questions our archaeologists have to ask, you know. What's the bushes? Let's crush them. These look like vases, can I smash them? I guess not. Uh, hmm? Wait, normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out! Hello! Oh, would you look at it? Is it? Oh, it's you, clowns! What? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude! Is that... Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We'd better get him then. But, dude, Lord Chump told us to get him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Also, um, if you went left to uh, tell Lord Chump you found Mario, I, we would have had the chance to get away, so... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this jump. One, two, three, break! Yeah, break what? Me, your legs? Okay, you bozos. Oh, wrong button, sorry. Let me tattle on you, uh, you real quick. It's an Xnaut. Says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. Okay. Okay, game. Let's skip this things. You think it means they're just low level foot soldiers? Yeah, probably. Max HP is 4. Attack is 3. Pretty sure that's like the highest we've seen so far. And defense is 0. But during these poaches, they make them all big and burly. And then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and items to take them down. That sounds like a plan to me. Uh, I tempted to use this, but nah. Okay, let's use a quick hammer. Okay, that didn't actually do that much. Oh, now he big. Okay, but they lose a turn. Oh, uh, that's... that's not good. Ah! Uh-oh. Yeah, this isn't good.
And I can't exactly guard in this state either, so... Okay, let's finish the job. Okay, that's one. And that's the other one. I think now I understand why there's a little recovery block overhead. Which keeps getting more and more expensive, which isn't exactly fair. God, that's stunk, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Chump isn't such a bad idea after all. The footsteps, though. Ready to take work handling those guys, Mario? Seriously, way to go! But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Well, there's someone. Finally, somebody showed up. What are you doing hiding back here? Come on, for Pete's sake. I found a powerful ally. Hey, he's huge. Uh, are you sure you're huge? Huge mustache man won't try to eat us? Yeah, that stopwatch was dang. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a stopwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Not this early in the game, at least. Oh, hey, who's that? Wells is back. There. Yeah, everyone's here. Be massive, I don't like him. Because him. Dang, it's a nice test. It scares me so early. Well, two of them were simping over me, so I guess that's good enough. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. Yeah, I am, totally. All those bad guys, Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Don't call them goons, that sounds so silly. Well, there's not a lot of you, I expect more. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we have to make do. Okay, good. There's oh, supposed to be more. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. What? Juniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Mister, we can all fight along with Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ha! Big, bad, punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. I have no idea the kind of trouble we've been through while you were gone. Yeah. Why there's a few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? I mean, uh, if I had to guess, they got captured. Well, they've been captured. But there's a good. Oh my gosh, I called it. The elder, everybody, including. I thought you were the elder. Your sister. Well, that was dramatic. What? A tuny? Maybe was captured to take it somewhere within this big tree. We said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to the giant goons. Now they did harry all the men to our right to help a bit. Wow, watch your mouth. I'm not going to help you if you go on with that. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it, if we all get together, we can take on anyone anywhere. So, who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone, let's pull our strength. Ha, huh. Punio, Punio, Punio. You have to convince me because I think you're losing it. Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha, huh. like that'll ever happen, please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help him. Yeah, okay. That's puny with the punies. He sure is big for a puny. Too bad his head is big too. Yeah. Definitely. Ha! Ah, I say again. Ha! Ah, by all means, help our friends. Or I quit it now, telling me there's no hope, that it's impossible. Jack. Right, let's heal up. Let's go through here. Weak. This one won't open. 
Oh, you don't have to call me weak just because I'm unable to open it. Sheesh. Oh, let's go out. There's an interesting pedestal now here. The ancient punies must have been really sophisticated. This is totally fascinating. I'm not sure why this makes them seem so fistimicated, but okay. I see, we're going to need more punies. Oh, there's another x knot. I think now we can take Flurry out for a ride again. Okay, what is that thing? Also, sorry Flurry, but you're back on... But you're uh, going to get replaced by Goombella again. You're, she's on Tattle duty once again. A yuck. Weird name, but okay. That's a yuck. It says here it's a creature created in the Eggnod Labs. Makes HP is 3, attacks 2, and defense is 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has a mini yucks around it. So, if any mini yucks appear, take that out first. Ah. You did not need to heal yourself that much. That's a mini yux. Can you tattle that as well, Gumbella? You can, okay. It's a mini yux, a creature made to protect the yux. It can split into two. Makes HP is one and defense is zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the maniacs. They got pain, but you have to beat them for the yucks. Flow is pretty effective. I mean, she could be, but you know. She's probably going to get replaced by you at uh, any moment again, so... Oh hey! Actually, let's switch, switch, let's place Mario in front again. Okay, I attempted to get rid of the x nodes first. Because we've seen what they are capable of. They'll just pull out a stopwatch when you're not looking. There. Okay, Super Garlic does the reflective damage in this case, okay. Okay, now I'd say it's a good time for Flurry to come out. Okay, now, uh, now let's try Gale Force. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Look, in my defense, I thought it was also going to blow away the mini yuck. Well, it seems like we can't have anything fun today, so let's just uh, finish this the boring way, like a pleb. You need to press, hold and release A. There's a rhythm to it. Oh, sorry, I thought it was button mashing. I wasn't told, again. Maybe I need to look up a battle master more, because apparently I suck. There we go. Oops. Okay, I'll finish the mini action and then you, uh, you attack it, Flurry. Yeah. 
Oh, she only still does two damage. Okay, I should have figured that. But dang, I think this has been the longest battle so far in the game. I mean, I say that sarcastically, but you know, maybe I'm not. Okay, to be fair, I did have I I did have to tattle it earlier, so. I seem to also just be mistiming the uh, the stylish move thing. Oh well. And look at the back. Three times the coins. Nifty. I mean, you absolutely want your Gale Force press, hold, release, repeat. Ah, I see. Although now that we've, you know... Oh, nice. Now that we've actually, you know, titled it, we can also just try and take it down first if there's no other serious threat. Matter of fact. Oh, but well now there's two of them. Okay, let's give this another shot. Oh, apparently I can't read because it's literally just at the bottom. Well, that was pointless. Okay, let's try this again. Well, that was disappointing. I keep trying to super guard, but I just can't for the life of me do the timing. Okay, you flop onto that little thing. Bingo time again. Yep. I totally had that. Come on, game. Better take a sip of water before I turn into a very dehydrated dolphin. Hmm, that's better. Wait, another pipe. Is there anything behind it? No. Uh, let's switch to Goombella. And tattle the room above us. Also, let's keep her out just in case there's something else we need to tattle, because you know it's going to happen. Oh, we should look at that. Elder. Junio, is that you? You're looking well. But, uh, my guy, you could literally just slip through the bars. It's a Paper Mario game. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped. And this is our daring rescue of you. You think this unlucky for now? Uh, okay. If you say so. Oh, we're rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. This is quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Uh, the others. Mm, let me think. Big brother? Where was I? Is that my punio? Oh, they are over there. <laughs> the Tuni, thank heavens. You're here, you're safe. I knew it come from the Tuni, I just knew it. I mean, what's kind of the plan, so yeah. Of course I would, this sister, and I've brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. I'm going to get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold by a second. Okay. Oh, yo, listen, we've got to find the Selkies or we're going nowhere. 
There's a red cell and a blue cell here. Jump must have made them to hold the punies. If it gaps like those between the bars, I think we could get through there. Yeah, I was about to say. If I had to guess, the, the keys are secretly hidden in the cells themselves. Let's have a little look, see here. You didn't have your two mustache, or would you just rather spend your time sitting in a cell with me? I mean, neither. This elder that Juniper mentioned, you gotta be real old to be called elder. Be trapped in your can't be good for uh, health. Let's hurry up and help her. The elders is she? Okay. Junior, junior sister, Petuni. She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him. I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and rescue the rest of them, okay? okay. Oh, wait, we already read that. Oops. How'd you get in here when you're so big, huh? I'm literally flat. Look at me. I'm so fat, I'm I can walk through all of you. Oh, we can go outside here. Well, I think. I'm not outside, it's just a room with a lot of chests and such. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till I find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it, and they live here. And worst of all, I got stuck holding onto this stupid cell key. <laughs> So bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Oh, would you look at that? Um, ouch. Oh, well, is this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? <laughs> oh, funny, you said that thing. Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not that I was smooth, just flirting and out of control. <laughs> okay. The, crystal st the precious crystal side looking for is beneath this tree. Underground. Good luck finding it for the others. Mm -hmm. Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. What am I going to do about you? I can't believe that girl. Ugh. I can't stand her. Uh, I wish really he stood knocked out. I wish he would stay knocked out, but okay. Oh, my aching. Hey, you. You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Uh, no, actually. Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. Now I'll be doing the dirty. Okay, jerk. Oh well, it's only one guy. What's he going to do? Okay, finish it, Gumbella. There we go, that was easy. So what do you have to say for yourself? Absolutely nothing because you did. And that's the red key. I see another chest though. Maybe it holds a blue key? No, an ultra mushroom. This early in the game? Huh. Interesting. Look, the jump left behind lots of the equipment he used to search this tree. Miss Mouse was here before, but I think you took the next train to Flirtsville. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Goomboa. Right, let's open the cell then. Hello. Elder, we're back. We need to rescue you. Foolish child! 
Tino, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. What was that about? Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, it's not, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your bumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister run off like that? Absolutely shameful. What? But, but elder, I just went to find help, to help rescue you. Oh, stop the whining, you'll never interrupt an elder lecture, never! Oh, this is going to get the fan. You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. What? That is not far off, and that is why you need to listen now. First of all... Oh dear. Several hours later. Yikes. Or else, you got that from now on. You got to get your axe together, punio. Yes, Elder, yes, I understand. Well, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. This cell is cold, but it's good for the old back, and that's this dumb stench. Uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just do it, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother, I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key too, right, Mario? I have to go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. And I hope the answer is, you know, brief. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, if she's going to go on another lecture, we're just going to fall asleep again, probably. Let's see if we can't find the elder anywhere. He's probably down here with the rest, and I think they're going to uh, have to help us with that switch thing. So I'll have to stand on it. I intend to just go and recover my stuff, my everything again. Yeah. And while we're at it, let's save. Hello, are you here? Well, it is Junio. Hmm, you heard me. Huh. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I accept you as our leader. I mean, you're the one with a swelled head, so... And definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Despicable! How dare you talk about that, knowing what we're up against. The weirdo soldiers taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Zabby tribe is helping them. What? Oh no. We must stand together now, we must face them. Don't you understand that? What, the Jabbies and the intruders have joined forces? Then, maybe the Jabbies have the blue key. Shut your trap, you Nippurad Punio, and mind me, you here. You help Mustachio here. What did you say your name was again? It was, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? No, it's Murphy. Uh, it's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, she's he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, sit down, you. And everyone else help Marcio clear out our tree. Oh, all right, Ella, whatever you say. I'm not hard or anything, to tell you the truth. I'm worried about Puny too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party. Ah, oh. thanks, you guys. Say, if you have a moment, might I ask a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called a crystal star. Do you know of it? Crystal star, eh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Alright, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. 
That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty or Martio, I'm calling it. Your heart is pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet all of this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that Martio? Crystal star, and leave the bottom of the tree. Go to it. Yeah. Oh, hold your horses, I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to the gem without help of the punies. Not a chance. Oh, I guess we'll need to uh, bring more of them to the room where it is. Okay. So yeah, you better take this. It's a puny orc. It's a symbol of our leader. It looks pretty. If you play this in the battle slots you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, I think I saw an opening like that. Alright guys, let's go rescue everybody. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So sorry, so sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Are you waiting to the Crystal Star? If you lose any of the punies, just come see me. What I'll do is, I'll give a whistle to go on back here. You got all that? Yeah. Is that it? Nothing else to remember? Okay. Okay. So, plop it in here. There we go. My goodness, would you look at that? The pipe leading down. Let's see where it leads. On that note, let's get the puny orb back. Hang on. That all time. Pearls keep floating up from the water at the bottom. Weird. I don't want light is interesting too. If we turn that nearby panel slightly green, it should let us enter. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be worth a shot. Alright. I'm going to jump on this guy, and then I'm going to have Slurry take care of the remaining one. Nice. Oh, you deal more damage than the usual enemy. No matter, let's finish this. Like, I don't recall them dealing free damage, but okay. There. So, then what does this do? Uh, is this just to make you wait here? Okay, you guys wait here for a second, I'll go check what's inside here. Ah, okay, it's just a shortcut. Oops. Oh, hello. Well, I'm glad I fell down here. And that's a thunder rage. Nifty. Nothing hidden back here, though. Oh, well. Oops. Oh, that's how you go back up, I see. So that's how you guys do this. Oh, wait, are you guys able to jump or...? Come over here.
Oh, I have an idea. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Well, he's interesting. Oops. Okay, so if we were to... What if we blew them again? It was kind of awkward, but I did it. Right, where does this go? Well, people inside of the tree, at least. Oops. Punis are totally afraid of these spiders. When the pilot erupts, the punis completely loses the bolt in every direction. You will have to defeat any spiders near the path you want to lead the punis along. Uh-huh, I get it. I guess. Uh, where am I? Oh, yo, that was a jabby. Now that's right, they have the key to the blue cell. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. Now we know they're helping the intruders to and try to seize the tree. But I used to get along with Jebel. He's one of the jabby tribe. A Jebel, I... And he would be hiding somewhere right now, not wanting to fight anyone. Why well, even Jebel is my enemy now? I mean, I would hope not. It's like the Great Tree. This area has a totally worked out the topography. True. <laughs> anyway, let's see where those where our puny friends went. Well, he's a spider. I don't like seeing that, but okay. Right, saddle time. It's a spider. Ick, they gross me out. That's HP is 5, deck is 2, and even 0. Ew. Besides normal text, the might spin three web wards at you consecutively. You better have a, have a good time if you want to guard against such attacks. It also says here that the punish can't send spiders, so I'm not the only one. The sight of these things makes punish be in terror. I know how they feel. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Quickly, preferably. Nice. Well, that sucked. I thought I had a timing completely right there, but I guess not. Alright, let's finish this thing. I keep forgetting Blue Bella has been upgraded once already. There you are. Okay, I guess we can't use that yet, because there's a big vast thing on top of it. Oh well. Okay, this is one of these, okay. Okay, that one's almost down now. Okay, 
Okay, how are you? You should actually you know, consider using my star powers. And we leveled up. Okay, let's upgrade, upgrade FP this time around so we can get rid of the FP plus badge. There we go. I suppose this for now. Oh, whoops, I already read that, sorry. Wrong button. Uh. Boom. So maybe Koops wasn't the best choice for this. Oh well. So could you power shell this, these guys? Nice. This guy. And we got a bingo. And that's where we filled our FP, so that's nice. Okay, let's swap to Goombella now. Okay, I'll finish this one and then I'll have a good while I take the remaining one. Okay, I want to get this multi bunker right there. Uh, apparently, I just can't, okay. Oh, hello, Merly. And my defense has increased. Oh, that's nice. And more star points for me. That's giving me some more coins. Excellent. Right, let's have a look around. I saw the key being taken this way. Oh, that doesn't look good. Everyone, it's the Jabbies. Oh, now I don't know what they call them. Bees. It's a done Jabby squad run. Uh, let's get out. Come on. Hey, there's a water running through the inside of the great tree. You don't think, couldn't it be out of three cows to choose from root to limb? You know, nature's just all, it's just about the coolest thing. Blah. Oh, Nelly! Get him! Wow, we did it! We defeated every last Jabby here! Now to destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Why does it have an alarm hanging on the outside of it? Dang, I don't want to know what's going on inside of there. 
Anyway, that's taken care of. This area seems to have been laid out for a special reason, don't you think? There must be something super important hidden here. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a blue key. Yes, with this key we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Here you, have to free my sister and the others. But there's also this. I think we're going to get our jump upgrade soon. Oh, hello. And they never come back, and that's that. And what's going to happen to us? And hey, by the way, what's this thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom. That's a dried shroom. No, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, <laughs> so damned. Oh no, anyway. <laughs> well, my complaining aside, I'll ship you in your return. Yeah, let's go back to Pionio's sister. Okay, uh, up we go. Oh, we're getting close to my usual time where I end my streams already. Dang. Okay, I think I can just go through this door and talk to the elder to get the rest of the craft. Do your thing. I love you. Well, I'm shocked. Who we'll makes fun of an old woman like that, honestly? <laughs> Why, if I were just 10 years younger, I'd show you. Oh, you'd best believe it. Now, if you know that in my younger days, I was considered a puny prize. I had so many suitors, I had to foil them off. <laughs> now that I think about it, there was a particularly fine boy in Ponderton. Oh dear. Two hours later. <laughs> And that's how I became the puny elder and leader of the puny tribe. Now you know my tale and I know yours, so good luck to you. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway, could you call, call the punies for me? I understand the situation, just wait a moment. Punies! And there they are. Alright, Mr. Marty O, off you go now. Alright, let's go fetch the rest of them. To be further up. Are we close yet? Yeah, if I recall, they are all the way on the highest floor of the tree. Ah, there we go. Juni, I'm back. We brought the key. You're opening the cell right now. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, brother! Pick up Juni. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I might get to you soon, but... 
Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, well, this one kind of good to ride out. Oh, nasty. Big brother. It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not, uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Very, uh, uh, very yeah, yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me your heart, Petuni. Hey, quit, Petunio, come on, don't get on by she, everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. No. Oh, that was nothing. 90 punies have joined your party now, there are 101. I think I know this movie. Alright, let's take all these little guys to, uh... Presumably the bottom of the tree. We've got a whole trail behind us. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the thing again, don't I? Okay, everyone stand here, please. Let's blow your uh, awful mechs now. Wow. It's so awkward. Whoever the hell thought this, this whole thing was a good idea. Wait, is that what I was supposed to do? Or was it? I see. I didn't think of that. Because what would I have? Yeah, we're getting close to time, so I'm going to get the uh, go for find the save block, and then I'm going to call it there. Oh, could you maybe push this for me, or Flurry? Could you do anything? Oh, well, ain't that interesting. Fuck. It goes to the block. And another shine sprite. I think now I have a total of three, yeah. Great. Okay, all of you, follow me, please. Okay, careful does it, everyone. Oh, oh, Nelly. Let's say pie there. Boom. Yeah. Right, let's finish this. Wait, I can just. Okay, let's try Gale Force. Well, that's still open gone, so that's good. Nice. Okay, Flurry actually made it a lot easier, so that's nice. Uh, 
I hope there's another one over there. Okay. Flurry, use Gale Force. Well, that's two of them. I completely missed the time there. Man, I'm screwing this up badly. Okay, for you will take that one and I'll take, I'll take the remaining one. Oops. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm going to bring Goomba out now. Okay, let's actually try and get this multi bunk. There we go. No, I'm pretty much out of FP. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, how am I supposed to get that? Something down here? Oh, there's a save block down here. Yeah, I think Punius has something about a hidden shop somewhere in this area. If you need any items, we should try not to find it, huh? Yeah, we should. I'm not sure it's going to be labeled secret entrance yet again. I see you there. Right, let's save and uh, let's check it. This has to be the secret shop. Oh, it sure is. And would you look at that, we can heal. Pretty good stuff here, too. This is a shop run by a puny named Pungents. I wonder if there are any rare items. Hey, what the heck? Mario, there's someone here. Try talking to him. Oh, there must be him. Hey, Jebel, why are you hiding back here? Whoa, Jebby, not good. The little fighter's gonna get mixed up in my stock. I suppose I can't go discipline on him. He's still just a kid after all. He is just a kid, Mario. Maybe we should, you know, take it easy on him. Yeah, we'll leave him be. I wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely. Like he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, he almost looks like a lost little kitty cat looking for a home. Oh, too cute. I don't think he, he would want to join us, would he? Yay, we have a new ally. I had heard the rumors from Madame Fleury to the Njabis. Yeah, the words out Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and salesman, I would say I'm more than a little jealous. Hello, could you uh, look after something for me, please? This ultra mushroom. I suppose you can hold on to one in coupon, I'm not going to need it. Then I'm going to get an, uh, an extra honey syrup. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. So who are you then? This is a bit hard spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. Those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? Nope, not at all. That's Pungry of the Punies. He seems to be fine pungent as far as I can tell. I guess they avoid any trouble with the Exiles by holding up in here. That does seem to be the case, yes. Okay, so here's the rest of the Punies, but... Hang on, where is the rest of them? 
I guess the rest is up here somewhere. And then there's the matter of that block over there. How am I supposed to get that? I can't jump high enough to fetch it, so that's unfortunate. Anyway, let's save. And you know what, people? I would say that's enough for today. So, next Saturday, we're going to be continuing. We're probably going to finish up Brockley Woods. Hopefully. I'm not sure. And that'll be that. And then we'll probably move on to the next area. I don't think we'll have much of Buggly Woods left. Well, anyway. More on all that, um, you know, Saturday evening as usual. Now get out of my house and I'll see you all next time.